Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. As you can see behind me, the floor and ceiling are exactly the same as they were last episode. I have not done the live stream and I don't think I'll be able to fit it in today. I have some errands I have to run, so it's just not going to happen. I'm sorry, I promised, but we will do possibly some live streams this weekend if I can get to it. So today we're going to do some stuff. And before that, let's check out some loot that I have from vaults that I've been running in between episodes. We have an unidentified artifact, which we're going to check. We also have a doll that we need to break down. I think it's from Sudo again at level 92 now. He is leveling up as we speak. And I have purposely not placed this backpack down to our delootification station. So you can see all of the loot that we have gathered in, I think, around four or five-ish vaults, I think so. Uh, we didn't find many ores, but we did find a whole bunch of carbon, a whole bunch of knowledge, and a whole bunch of gear as well that I've gone through and nothing really was an upgrade, I think. I don't think I changed anything. I might be running a different sword, but I don't recall. But I don't think I got anything of real significance that it would be worth mentioning. So the biggest thing is this trinket. Oh yeah, I did get another trinket that I did pop off camera. And I got the Spellbook, which increases our ability power by 50% of my total ability power. So if I put this on, and I come over here, and I turn on Archon, do these target dummies not work? Is there a different kind of dummy that I can make? Nope, apparently Archon does not work on these. But, at least with Storm Arrow we can see. Do you not see? Why does it not show? I wanted us to be able to see how, oh. <laughs> you know why we're doing zero? Because I'm wearing the wrong armor set. <laughs> oh, that was derp. Okay, let's swap into our proper armor. That's why we're doing zero damage. Now we can have uh, Archon do damage. I need to turn it on again. And it's currently on cooldown. We'll do that in a moment. This backpack is getting diluted, but something got stuck. Vault Essence. Ha, you are full. I'll say in another upgrade. There we go. But this is now empty, so we can now pop our trinket and pop this doll. Okay, we just unlocked all the trinkets. We didn't get any dupes. So now we have all of the trinkets unlocked. And I, I said people, people said that they were getting dupes. I just haven't gotten dupes yet. And this is a blue trinket which I might actually start using in vaults instead of the Stone of Jordan. Oh, I'm gonna have to get used to it. Three, three, three jumps. It's gonna be so good for transporting ourselves around the vaults. Okay, Archon, are you on? Okay, Archon still doesn't work, but the Storm Arrow should. 249 damage per Storm Arrow, and that is level one Storm Arrow, and it gets better with levels. So, we do have one unspent skill point, but I think we have anything else to put it in. No, actually, we can start putting it in Storm Arrow. The mana cost will go up, but the damage will too as well. Which will mean that champions just die faster. Alrighty. Doll. What is that? Is that a... That's a whole ton of bronze. 2,446 bronze. Alright. And six mod boxes. That's super cool. Over here, I have been working on some things. We have a vault recycler next to the thing so I can clear out jewels much easier. And I've been doing that a little bit. But let's go pop the artifact. I'm all over the place and nothing makes sense probably to you. But it is what it is. Is this a new one? Oh, we're two away. And we have dupes here. Let's, uh, let's do the dupes. There's enough for two rerolls, so we can just toss all of these, if I turn off my magnet, into the fire. And we should get eight new artifact fragments and get two new artifacts. That's a dupe, and that's also a dupe. Okay, that's fine. And we have unlocked botany pots, so we should be getting botany pot things as well from this. But apparently more refined storage and thermal. Sudo has left us three dolls. You may be wondering where this one is. It's running around somewhere. I tried placing it back on the pedestal and accidentally shift. Uh, hi, here, here, there, there he is. 
I accidentally shift right clicked onto the pedestal and it uh, put him down. So we'll we'll go kill him eventually. Uh, we have also a bunch of gear here, so I'll pop the dolls first and then we can pop all the gear as well. And you can see I've done some digging in between cuts here. Um, I figured out a good way to dig. Oh, hi, hi friend. Can I just storm arrow you? I cannot. Okay, so I have to chase you around. Okay, got him. And let's put these two down as well. There we go. Nice. Ooh. I got three crates. Two knowledge stars. How did I get knowledge stars? Maybe from like the champs, I guess, he could have killed? And another trinket. And four pogs. It's insane. And an echo gem. Nice. We have three crates that we can open as well. No trinkets and no artifacts. It doesn't look like it. Since we now have all the trinkets unlocked, this is just gonna be a duplicate one. And one that I would want is probably treasure goggles. That would be nice to get another one of. Oh, another clover. Okay, that's fine. This is a lucky hit build kind of thing. So right now I should, <laughs> I'm probably gonna soon need a bigger box for uh, trinkets because this is gonna get filled up very quickly. I put all the gear together in this backpack so we can see anything that we get. Ooh, an Omega helmet. We can now hope it's a level 80 and not a level 92, because that one's going to be 10 levels away. But uh, I will go through and see what we have. It's a level 82 helmet. That's super good. It has critical hit resistance and the lowest armor roll, so a few fundamental foci might be worth on this. I put the gear that we can't use right over here, and I'll ask Sudo if he wants any of this stuff, if any of them help his build, he might try and want those. The gear that we can use is this right over here. We got a common pair of pants with legendary 13 health and 4 armor and 49 poison avoidance with 33 ability power. Don't know that these are better than the pants that I'm using, which are Omega. Yeah, these just won't be better. <laughs> Because even the 13 health is nice, but nah, I think we're okay. I could potentially wear these as my just regular old pants for everyday things. We got a chestplate upgrade. The one on the right is my previous one with legendary 87% poison avoidance. But because we have 64% on this, which is almost a max roll, and we also have 53% on this one, we combined have more than 100% of poison avoidance, so we can just sit in the slime poison, no problem. And we also got this Omega helmet, but I tried crafting it to be better, but I just couldn't get it. And we're, we have more crafting potential that we could dive into, but I think for now it is not going to be an upgrade. We lose the health, we lose the ability power to gain like 26% mana regen, which I don't think is really worth it. And I don't really think it's worth the 2% of Trap Disarm that I would gain with like 14% here to have 100%. I don't think it's really worth it. This Pitchfork is basically on its last repair. I'm gonna probably repair it before the next vault. And then we're gonna use it up as much as we can. And we're gonna actually craft a thing that's gonna have 100% Trap Disarm with our jewels that we still have here. And I think I have like boxes in, in places. Yeah, these are the ones that I've been preparing for. 100% trap disarm on a tool. I decided to transmog into the druid set. It doesn't look as good as the mushroom set, but it's a full set that we have, and I don't have to bother other people when I get upgrades to transmog it, and we're just gonna be using this for the moment until we get more Omega pieces of the same set, and we can complete sets on our own. But this is looking really good, I think, as well, and it kind of fits with the poison build. I might need a different sword, though. I might just use the bamboo stick. It kind of fits. <laughs> a little bit. Every time I get a new piece of armor, I just want to go run a vault just to test it. So uh, let's do it, right? It's going to be quick. We're going to see if we can find some dungeons. I also need to grab a doll. I have since moved the dolls from the middle over there because I always go and place the crystal and I'm like, oh, I need a doll and I can't get it. And I had to go in the back to get it. So we have dolls right here. And I think I'm just going to go grab Pseudo's dolls, actually, from Spawn, because he's been running so many of my vaults, and I've been running so many of his, so we kind of just, like, ping-pong the dolls back and forth. And it's also going to be a great test for our Prismatic Feather for triple jump, so we might not need to dash too many places with this one. Oh, this one also has 30 uses, which is the max, plus it's going to get an extra 20% from our Trinketer. 
So good. I think ready to go. Ooh. Hunt the Guardians. I think this is Blood Moon theme if I'm mistaken, but it's Nether Mobs anyway. Ooh, triple jump. I have to get used to this. How high can you even get? Ooh, and dashing is super weird out of it. Okay. Hey, there is one. Hi, guys. I don't have poison, though. The piglin archers are the scariest things in the world. And we're at the end of the vault. Oh, there's something up here. Please be a pillar. Oh, it's so weird to jump dash. Okay, so you can't really jump dash properly. Okay, understood. Yep, there's a pillar. Okay, cool. We're gonna be seven guardians now. Let me heal up. Get full mana. Storm arrow. Got him. Lovely. No, I didn't bring in gold. I forgot. We don't have any. Well, we have a little bit. Do I even want to spend... Oh, there's an or... Why did I not bring gold? There's two oranges that I could have bought. A magnet, a jewel... Mm. Mm. Well, we're leaving. I need to set up the thing to not extract my gold. So we can keep a bunch of gold in the backpack. Oh, something down here. Altar, nice. Storm arrow right here. Oh, there's another one over here. It's perfectly in the middle of the room. Nice. Storm arrows on cooldown. Totally fine. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. So we now have 18 minutes of a looting -ness, ness Hey, friends. You want to spawn in somebody? So if I now jump down, I can just like jump right before I land and take minimal damage. So I kind of don't need to waste mana on Stonefall anymore. I'm still probably gonna whenever I uh, get to it, but you know. Oh, hey champ. And an archer. Hi archer, can you die? Thank you. Let's get Archon. There we go. Hey, I found another guardian pillar with eight minutes left. Can I rebind this again? I totally can. Okay. Oh, I should have saved that for later, but that's fine. Hey, another ore room right next to this one. That's so cool. And these, I think this vault has more painite and lexandrite, I think. Possibly wutadai. But I'm seeing a lot of painite, and we can actually see what we get the most out of in the end. 
We're not gonna greed too much. We're just gonna go kill these guys. We're gonna pop Poison Nova and Storm Arrow. And More. Hi, guy. Oh, I'm out of mana. Haha. -ha. And my Archon probably turned off. That's fine. We'll just manually kill you. Nice. <laughs> we didn't loot that much. Mine cut a few ores. But not that many chests, though. 74,000 XP. Not bad. Level 83. Woohoo! I so have to get used to this triple jump. And here I can fly and it's super wonky with that. Let's pop out the crate. No artifact. No trinket. Yep, it's mostly pain idor, which was the bounty that I had, which is super cool. So you get a ton of pain in and blood moon vaults. That's really neat. We got only a few gear pieces and none of them were anything to mention. We have two more mod boxes. Ooh, that is an energizing rod. And another sawmill. Before I forget, I saw that my magnet was almost out of durability, so we're gonna repair that. Oh, that's one of the two repairs that it has. Okay. We didn't kill enough dwellers. Oh, I should have looked at the bounty, because I could have completed it. Oh, that's okay. We're gonna have to wait 30 minutes for the other one anyway, so it's fine. This one's also really good. Gold, diamonds, chromatic, black chromatic. I'll take that. It's both for dwellers, so we're just gonna have to kill a ton of dwellers next vault. I have created a black chromatic steel reaper. It has all of the things on it. 100% trap disarm. It's soul bound. It has all of the affinities. It has 29% item rarity, 15% item quantity. It has... That's it. <laughs> so that is pretty cool. And that's going to replace our current pitchfork. Now I'm going to have to get used to looking at this tool, uh, which is going to be cool because it kind of sort of works at like a Paxel as well. So I don't need to use my pick rank to break one block bits because this guy can break all the blocks. And we can just use this for hammering all the ores, which is really nice. You may have also noticed in the background that I have this guy now. He is an evoker face, and I really like the design that I built. I just did this off of uh, some evoker pictures that I found, and we're gonna hide in some modular routers and possibly in a detector. I still need to run some cable all the way back there, so we'll figure that out in a bit. But uh, we can get automatic emeralds. I have been running the evoker egg for a little bit, so we have 3,000 in here, but I wanna get that up to 10,000, so that is gonna be easy to do. And there we go, we have two modular routers in the same configuration with the detector for emeralds here in the middle, and we can just cover everything up like so. And we now have an evoker. I also possibly want a bit of lighting. So we'll take this middle block out. We're gonna put a frame block in, put that in, and then give it a bit of lighting. There we go, lovely. We now have infinite emeralds, awesome. And something's not being picked up. Oh, it picked up some stone. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> there might be a few totems on the floor. I just love waking up every morning seeing dolls on my pedestals from Sudo, because he's just a champ being running vaults like crazy. And this is kind of like a Christmas present or an early Christmas present. So we're going to go pop these. Let's see. So many things. Another two Echo Gems. Nice. Lots of gear and jewel. Ooh, inscriptions. Dragon room. That's super good. Before we check out the gear, let's pop the crate. No artifact, no trinket, but still some good stuff. Let's see what the gear says. We also got one artifact fragment, and there was three at spawn here, so we can combine it to make a new artifact and see if that's one that we need. It is not. And we now have a bunch of dupes here, I think, that we can reroll. That's gonna be another one. Let's see. It's a dupe. And we have one more that we can do. That is also a dupe. 
I know you can reroll any artifact with an Omega Pog to a new artifact, but Omega Pogs are super expensive and it's just easier to try and reroll four of them right now. And we only need two, and I believe Pseudo said that Reese has one that we need, so maybe he will add it here as well. And then we're just one away from actually being done, and then we all just need to grind out level 100, and we can go run the Herald Vaults. I went through all the gear, and we have this that I'm gonna save, and we're gonna see if we're gonna use it at 93. The biggest thing are these boots with 161% legendary mana regen, which, since we're using mana regen as a build, that is really cool to have, so I might try wearing those at level 93. And the rest I'm just gonna toss in here and uh, keep for laters. I'm trying to reroll a pair of 81 epic boots, and I got them to crafting potential negative 3, trying to get good stuff on it. Pseudo even came over to craft me mana on them, and I just didn't get anything good on them. So we'll use an opportunistic focus to reset the crafting potential to 217, which means they're gonna be less expensive to reroll and we can spend less of our gold on these. <laughs> They're coming to be really expensive to do, so let's see and hope that we get something good. I have three faceted foci guaranteeing mana regen, which is what we want, so I'm gonna try these and see if I get anything good. The resistance is great, the health is great, the mana is max. <sighs> but that means I can't get plus mana percentage, or just plus regular more mana. The 80% mana regen though. I mean, I'm okay with having extra poison avoidance, which could be something else, but that's okay, I guess. We can try and take those. The health is gonna be nice, the resistance is gonna be nice. They are soulbound as well, so they're not gonna cost me anything. And what can we craft on these? Soul chance, trap disarm, item quantity, rarity. We could do cooldown reduction for another 10% or so. That could be an interesting thing to do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do cooldown reduction, and it's 10%. That's okay. It's 9 to 11, so it's it's the middle. That's totally fine. Yeah, those are going to be better. Even though we lose a little bit of increased ability power, but we're going to gain resistance and more armor and more mana regen, so it's all going to be very good. And there we go. We now have a new pair of boots, and these ones can go to somebody at level 70 if they want them, because these have really good trap disarm and ability power. If somebody will want them, I will keep them for them as well. We have been using this epic magnet for a good while now, and I want to try and craft some magnets. I prepared a whole bunch of magnetite, and we have some gold, and I'm just going to craft some magnets, and we have magnet proficiency up to 4.7%. So we're just gonna get that a bunch higher, and we're just gonna craft a ton. These are already all novice magnets, so I think they can't be scrappy. I think that's the what happens with them. Let's see, the first inventory. Yeah, these are all common and rare, so they can't be scrappy anymore. That's super good. Oh, there are still scrappy ones. Okay. There were no really good magnets, so let's try again and see how many more I can craft. I don't have that much more magnetite left. Now, some of these are roll maker. Okay. Which is at like 10% proficiency, probably. Okay, so those could be higher in quality as well. Yep, we did roll an epic one, so we're gonna save that and we can try and re-roll it. Another epic one. We have two epic ones, and I'm gonna try and reforge prefixes and suffixes and see if we can get something really amazing. 20 mining speed, extra velocity, a little bit of copiously, it's one of the lowest rolls. I managed to get this. It's a 12% item quantity and 25% item rarity, which is gonna be a really good magnet to use over here in our lower level vaults because we were using this copiously item rarity one, and this is just gonna be better. It has max item rarity and almost max item quantity. So I will craft on something else, which could be mining speed that we do. We're only gonna get the eight to 12 range, but that should be pretty good, I think. And then we can just get either reach, velocity, or range on it as a random modifier. I will do that, yep. 11.4, that's almost max. I will take it. 
and then we'll add a random modifier. It could be durability as well, which also would be nice. 3.8 range. Oh, that's really good. It's a low roll, but it's really good. I will take it. We'll add some unbreaking, and we can use it in our lower level vaults. That will be really good for getting a restock on all the things. We have another one that we can try and reroll. It doesn't have as high velocity as the previous one, and we could potentially invest some fundamental foci. That's one more velocity. Maybe we can get it soulbound as well. 20 velocity, 15.8 range. That's not bad. We have 15 faceted foci that can guarantee us copiously, so we can try and re-roll all the prefixes and suffixes and guarantee copiously. 17 and a half with 16 velocity. Can I remove the item quant? That's the velocity gone. That's the item quantity gone, okay. We can try and get a really high copiously thing. 20%. Max, we got it on max. I don't care what anything else is on this, pretty much, as long as we have 20% copiously. I think I'll put on some mining speed before we add some random modifiers, cause getting like 12 or 11 would be really good. Oh, 8.2, <laughs> wasting so much gold. We got, eight. come on game. I'll take 10.6. <laughs> I will take it. I should have just taken the first roll. That was like a stack of gold that's just gone. And let's add plus seven range. That is really good. And item rarity. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now this is a Omega magnet. It's even epic, but it's Omega. That I have to share with the peeps. That is just so good. Worth all the things. Okay, upgrades galore. Um, now we need vaults, because 49 gold in here, and we have, what, 240-something in here? We'll do three stacks in here. Just so I have... I need to have, like, 100 gold or something somewhere, so I can, I can respawn if necessary. We are 95 vault gold to respawn. Oh, these leggings need, need soul binding, because they're omega. We could craft some pogs, and that would craft us some um, fundamental foci. Let's do let's do eight, and then we can grab, I believe, these, and we put these around. Yep, fundamental foci. Ooh, we had some pogs in the system apparently. Ooh, we had four pogs. Okay, we can do. Let's do more. There we go. Fourteen fundamental. Let's try and get soulbound on our pants, and possibly. The magnet as well. Or do we want... No, I'll keep... The magnet is fine. We'll try the pants. Oh, the pants can only be repaired once more. Oh, why am I doing this? Oh, it's not... I need mana now. <laughs> or, or ability power. I'll take the mana. The mana's nice. We'll lose ability power, but the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is okay. These are on, on their last repair. They're level 72 Omega Pants. We need new pants, basically. Also, we can test our repairification station. It works. Nice. That's really, really easy. Really, really good. Zero interesting things happened in this vault. No dungeons, no extra POIs, no champions, no nothing. It was just a plain old simple vault. The altar that I found at the end of the vault is to kill dungeon mobs, which we're not going to do. So we're just going to complete the vault and be done with it. <laughs> and we got some stuff. As far as gear pieces, we have a sword and a wand, and we found a distinguished charm, so we're gonna identify all of that. We got a vendor affinity charm, and really bad items. We did complete the objective, so it could be something amazing in here. We also completed both of our bounties, so we can break those as well. And from the crate, we did get rare plus leggings, so those could be a potential upgrade. They are critical hit resistance, with not really good rolls, but do we wanna? We can. Hey, there we go. Ability power, soul bound, low armor roll, that's fine. Let's see if we can get any good prefix suffix rolls. We do want mana regen, so I'm gonna try some faceted foci. 78% and item rarity. It's a low roll item rarity, plus one level of cold snap. Ooh, can we, can we? 
Is that possible? Can we keep the mana regen? Let's see. We're gonna remove a random modifier. <laughs> and it gets rid of the mana regen. Okay, fine. We'll try one more this. Okay. Still not the best. We're gonna need to... Okay. One more. Yes! Okay, it kept the mana regen. Okay, cool. What do we want to craft on this? And apparently, I stopped recording mid-clip for some reason, so we got these pants now. These are not necessarily an upgrade, but they're more of a replacement, to be honest, because the other ones were very low in durability as well. So we're just gonna use these for now. They're soulbound as well, so they're not gonna cost me anything, which I think should bring our cost down quite a bit. Oh, it's 59. Only the crystal ball, the magnet, and the feather. So you only pay for trinkets, basically, if everything is soulbound. Okay, that's really good. If we get soulbound on the magnet as well, that's just super cheap. Do we want to try it? We have some more foci. We have seven more. We can try. Hey, soulbound. I don't care about too much velocity, but soulbound is all good. So now the cost of death is basically the trinkets. <laughs> so it's 46. That's really, really good. I wanted to go run another vault, but we need 177 blue ice for this crystal, and I could go somewhere and just mine blue ice. I think Sudo is in like an ice biome, and I could just go outside and mine it, and that would take us two seconds, but if we get blue ice again, I'm gonna have to go mine it again, and we can just have a passive machine producing us blue ice. I have created a contraption to make blue ice. It is kind of slow, because the blast chillers are as fast as they are, but they are making us ice. Two of them, putting it into this drawer. Then we have a multi servo press, compacting it into packed ice. And then we need nine of those to craft one blue ice. So that is going to take a while, but let's see how far along we are here. We're over 100 down, so just AFKing is going to get us this crystal complete. And over time, this is going to fill up to 2048 of blue ice, packed ice, and ice. So we should have that all on stock. And that is going to have to do it for today's episode. I am really hoping that you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. And you can also subscribe to get notified of when new videos go live. Plus, you can support me on Patreon and or in YouTube memberships to get access to this very server and play with me and have some fun. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.